first inning Umbrella Conquest tutorial. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca back at the Church of Chewbacca, and today we're going to do the first inning Umbrella tutorial. I'm going to tell you guys how to approach this, the best way to go about it to get it done the first try. I'm going to do a complete playthrough this time around, since there were some people that wanted to see maybe a little bit more out of that USA Conquest map. And I'll make sure that I do all of the conquests that come out for all of the inning programs, since I think it really helps you guys out. That way you guys can complete it the first time. So let's pop in here. And we're going to look first at the goal. So you want to view the goals with either your triangle or your Y button for you Xbox users. Triangle for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. So we got to steal at least 4 million fans. We got to conquer 50 territories, which... That is the entire map, if I'm not mistaken. It might be more, but either way, you're going to conquer that by conquering over the map. Get two enemy strongholds, 100 territories, four enemy strongholds, then conquer all the enemy strongholds, and last but not least, complete all of the territories. What it means by territories is just the hexagons, so every single hexagon is considered a territory. You want to just get all of the territories and conquer the entire map. I'm going to show you how to do that. Starting out, what you want to do is, you, as you can see, you have five around your entire stronghold, which has 10 on it. Their strongholds have seven. You just want to go out here, and we'll start at Boston Red Sox. You just want to attack these guys. Whether you win or lose, you just want to kind of take as much territory around you as you can. They're not going to get a chance to attack, so we're just going to sit here. And I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. I'm going to show you kind of, you just want to branch out here. Now I'm going to fast forward while doing it because no one wants to hear me just talk to talk. Okay, so I've done all my simulation, as you guys can see. And the biggest thing right here is with after doing all the simulation, as you can see, I've kind of left two at the end of that five every single time. And the reason I did that is we can move that singular fan somewhere where we want. But whenever you simulate a good matchup one-to-one, -one, there's a high chance you're going to lose this. This is literally a coin flip, and I don't even think it's just a coin flip. I honestly think that SDS probably has you win this maybe 25% of the time. So it's not worth just giving up a fan to give up a fan, in my opinion. So we're just going to hit... The pause slash skip phase, as you can see at the bottom, for PlayStation, it's going to be the, like the menu button. On Xbox, I believe it's still called the start button. I haven't played Xbox in a couple years, but I think it's still the start button that's going to be right above your buttons that are on the right-hand side of your controller. And you're just going to skip to the steel fan phase. So in the steel fan phase, what you can do here is you need to get at least 4 million fans stolen. So what you're going to have to play either two games or one game would be my suggestion if you're going to play just one game, you can play it on Hall of Fame for 4 million fans. And obviously, you can go against any of the teams that are on this map. Personally, I think the two teams to attack are the Seattle Mariners because I think they are the worst team. And then the next worst team is probably the Colorado Rockies. I think I'll probably attack the Rockies first because you get the advantage of Coors Field. Kind of easy game for me. I'm going to play on All-Star just because I like that pitch speed a little bit better than Veteran. However, you play on whatever difficulty you need to play on. If you need to play four times on Rookie, that's fine to steal the fans. But you can play two games on Veteran. You can play two games on All-Star. You can play a game on All-Star and Rookie. Whatever combination you get four million fans that you want. You could play one singular game on Hall of Fame if you like. Personally, I'm going to play it on All-Star just because that's the pitch speed that I prefer whenever I'm playing offline. Sometimes I play on Hall of Fame. Even if you got to play it on Rookie four times, by all means, do the steal fan phase four times and play it on Rookie if that's what you need to complete this conquest. And then, obviously, for the veteran here, 2 million fans, so you can just play it twice. I'm going to play this game on All-Star. Hopefully, the servers don't disconnect me. I understand a lot of people are having some server issues. If, for whatever reason, the server kicks you off playing the steal fan phase of the game, by all means... Just play it again in the next steal fan phase. It's not that big of a deal. You just won't get the 3 million fans that you need to steal this time around. But it's not an end-all, be-all. You just have to steal the fans before you're done with the map. So if you get some server issues, no big deal at all. Just it kind of stinks, and I hope nobody gets any server issues. But if you do, just play it again. I'm going to knock this out on All-Star, then I will be right back to show you guys how to reinforce and kind of how to keep going about conquering this map and completing this conquest. So we're back after winning our steal fan phase, or if we lost it, we lost it. Not a big deal. But assuming you play the Colorado Rockies and you beat the Rockies, you want to go after their stronghold first because they only have four fans on their stronghold. So you want to reinforce your 10 fans, whatever your closest hexagon is, over to 
that phase, and then you're going to reinforce all of them on a hexagon closest to the Colorado Rockies stronghold, as I did right there, which will leave you with 12. It could possibly leave you with 11. It could leave you with 6, 7, 8, whatever it is. Then in the move fan phase here is you want to take these 10 from your stronghold, and you want to also move it over here towards the Colorado Rockies and put 21 on this. Now you're back into the attack phase and then here you're just going to go up to the rockies as quickly as you can and you're going to go take over their stronghold if you get there and you don't lose too many fans on the lose fan phase you should be able to play them on rookie but we'll see what we get whenever we get over there we only got to take one more spot so hopefully we don't lose too many fans i think if we stay here all right so i think at the 16 to 4 i think we get to play it on rookie but i'm not really sure we'll find out right here okay we don't we have to play it on veteran because it's 15 to 4 so if you think you can beat it on veteran by all means play it on veteran if you do not think you can beat it on veteran, what you can do, and I don't necessarily advise this if you can beat it on veteran because it will take maybe an extra turn or two, but the turns don't matter because you can take as many turns as you need to complete this map. The only thing is that the computer will start to get very aggressive. As you can see, they have these twos all around where you have your ones and twos. So they're going to start trying to attack into your stronghold at some point in time, which can just cause a problem. But if you need to play it on rookie, what you can do is is just instead of attacking here just go and take more territories like you don't have to attack the rockies right here just take more territories and that's what we're going to do right here we're going to play as if we need to get on rookie to beat these strongholds so it is the easiest possible maybe not the fastest way we lost a lot of fans right there but that's okay we're just going to take over all of the rocky strongholds and i'm going to go more towards boston just because you want to take all this extra space that you can take in here when doing this you want to just sit here and simulate and take all of the possible fans you can away from these teams if you want to have to play that game on rookie which is the goal i want this to be the easiest it can possibly be if you could have knocked that out on veteran or all-star or hall of fame or legend or whatever else then knock that game out right away on the stronghold if not sit here and simulate these and kind of try to knock them out as on rookie as quickly as you can but you want to sit here and use your fans and i'm gonna fast forward here a little bit May go a little bit faster for these last couple of battles. And then I'm going to go to the steel fan phase again, what you're going to do. So we've kind of battled and semi-surrounded the Colorado Rockies stronghold here. We still have an outlet for whenever we play them this next turn. However, you're looking at this like this. You still have these twos around here. So the computer will not get aggressive yet until they have more than what that you have around them. So like some of these might do attacks, but typically they want to have like a three to one ratio or four to one ratio before they get real aggressive, which will happen in the next couple turns, to be honest. So we're going to skip from the attack phase to the steel fans phase like we did last time. And from the steel fan phase, who I would attack to finish up your steel fan objective or goal would be the Seattle Mariners. I think they're the next easiest team to play. The Brewers aren't that great either, but they do have Yelich, and Yelich can cause a problem. So I would go with the Mariners. I actually think the Mariners are the worst team out of all the teams. I think the Rockies are the second worst. So play the Mariners. You can play them on rookie. If you need to play them on rookie, then you have to play four games. Once again, veteran for two games. All-star, or you could play a game of all-star and rookie, or whatever the combination is to get four million fans. I'm just going to play this on all-star again, because as I mentioned, prefer that pitch speed and difficulty compared to some others other than if I want to play on Hall of Fame, but we're trying to get this done as quickly as possible, so there's no need to challenge ourselves. I'm going to knock out this game against the Mariners in the Steel Fan Phase. We'll have that goal completed when I get out of this game, and I'll catch you guys once that's done. So we've completed the second Steel Fans Phase here, and what you get here is you completed the goal one, Steel 4 million fans, if you did it in two turns. If it takes you four turns, like I said, playing it on Rookie by all means, it'll be on the fifth turn that you'll see this. Well, we're still technically on turn two for Reinforce. But we're going to reinforce right next to the Colorado Rockies here. And what happens here is you stole fans. We don't really want to move any of our fans. So we're going to let that go. We're going to skip to the attack phase. And now in the attack phase, as you can see, once again, we still can't play on rookie. You're going to have to play it on veteran. So what I want you guys to do is if you don't need to do the steel fan phase, you're just going to skip attack phase, skip the steel fan phase. Now they're going to try to attack you because by all means, why would they think that you could win 14 to 2? You can just skip the IA moves with square. Obviously, they're going to try to take back some of their territories. But as you can see, no one's too, too aggressive. Now you're back at the steel fans phase. If you still need to do steel fans phase because you didn't accomplish it yet, by all means, go in here, do steel fans, steal the fans on whoever you need. If not, you're going to skip to the reinforce phase. And now you're going to have 10 more fans to reinforce, which will give you 24. 
Then you're going to go to move fans. We're not moving any fans again, so you're going to skip to the attack phase. Oh, yeah, let's see if we can play this on rookie. It's going to be 24 to 6. We still can't play it on rookie, so we're going to do that cycle one more time. We're going to skip to the steel fans phase. We're going to skip the computer moves. Obviously, they're trying to knock me down from their stronghold now. So we're back to the steel fans. They have five fans on there. We're not going to steal any fans unless you need to. Go back to reinforce. We get to reinforce with another 10 fans. So we'll be at 34. We'll definitely be able to play this on rookie this time. We're not moving any fans, as already stated. So now you'll see attack phase. Boom. You can play it on rookie if you need to play it on rookie. That's how you do that. This is the only stronghold I'm going to go over that with. The rest of this video will just kind of be essentially how to just get to the strongholds as quickly as possible. As well as it will show you where on the map there's maybe some rewards. Because I'm sure there's some hidden rewards on the map. But that's pretty much the way to go about this to be able to play it on rookie. You want to do what I did. You want to do your steel fan phases. Then you want to go to attack. And then you just have to load up your fans once you get next to a stronghold. And by all means just attack them on rookie if you want to play on rookie. I'm going to knock this game out and I'll be right back and then we'll start busting through this map and knock out all the strongholds very quickly. I'm going to play them on a Hall Star or Hall of Fame when I get to them just to knock out the rest of the map and kind of show you the path and that it's very easy to accomplish with only playing a couple as in two steal the fan phases as well as six stronghold games to knock out this entire map. It's not that bad. You only have to really play eight games, and you can easily do that. It should maybe take you two to three hours max to complete this entire thing. But knock this game out. I'll be right back. So we just took over the Colorado Rocky Stronghold. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take over everything in front of the Los Angeles Angels Stronghold and set up to take them over in the next couple of turns here. But we're going to cover all of the hexagons that are in front of them as well as to the side of them. Let's go and do that right now. so we're kind of set up to play against the angels right now as you can see we just went through a little quick sim there of kind of getting to how we're going to take over that part of the map the only thing is as you've seen right here the boston red Sox that got next to this stronghold we don't want them to even be able to challenge and have to play that game so when reinforce here i'm going to reinforce with about four or five fans on this stronghold before we take over more of these hexagons around the angels to take over all of this space so that's what i'm going to do right now we're going to skip to the reinforce phase, get out of the steal phase. We're not going to steal anymore unless you have to at this point. Go back to the skip to the reinforce phase. I'm going to put about five right here to just push them back. And I'm going to put the rest right here on this second spot. So it'll be a decent split. I think it's 13 and five. And then in the move fans, you can always move this one that's next to it and just move that over there for that one extra fan. Now we're back to the attack phase. And we're just going to push out the Red Sox here a little bit. Maybe just one space or two spaces. And this is what you have to do. Sometimes you have to play a little bit defensive, and that's okay. We're just going to push them out a little bit. Looks like the Angels took over this space, so we'll have to reconquer that at some point in time. Maybe we'll do that after we take over some of these other spaces. But we're just going to go back and take over spaces right here, knock that out, and then we'll talk about it some more in the next turn. So we're back to this three thing, and I don't know if you guys noticed while we were going through that little simulation with it sped up or not, we actually completed one of the goals to conquer 50 territories on the umbrella map. So we knocked that one out. That's something that's good. We're going to skip back to the reinforce phase here. Skip the steel fans phase. Back to the reinforce. You get 17. Just put them right here where this 20 is at. And once again, there's really no fans to move, so we're just going to skip that phase. And we're going to take over these last couple territories here against the angels because they're not going to be able to play them on rookie obviously all right, so as you can see we've taken over the territory pretty much all the angels hexagons except for their stronghold as well as this one spot right here so we're going to skip to the reinforce phase once again and reinforce right here on this spot Get up to 19 fans. Once again, I wouldn't move anything. There's no need to move fans. We're going to skip to the attack phase. Boom, right here. We're going to take over the two. And then I think you're going to have to play this probably on all-star with the amount of fans we have, depending on how well this simulation goes. Um, you might be able to play it on veteran, actually. We'll see. 
Looks like the Red Sox are trying to get a little feisty up there again on the top side. Yeah, you can play it on Veteran if you want. So if you want to play it on Veteran, you can knock this out right now. If you want to get it to Rookie, you're going to have to keep skipping to the reinforced phase until you can get more than enough fans to get it up to a number where it's probably almost 36 or 37 million fans. Maybe even a little bit more than that. I may have to get all the way up into the 40s or 50s to play this on Rookie. I'd really try to play on All-Star or Hall of Fame if you really want to work on your game some. However, I'm going to knock this game out All-Star and then we'll be right back and we'll continue to conquer this map and go over it. Like I said, this is an in-depth guide that step-by-step -step literally shows you how to get it done. That way you get it done the first time. There's no confusion. And I get it's a little bit longer tutorial video, but... It's something that is foolproof. If you follow this step by step, you're going to get Conquest done. There's no doubt about it. I'm going to knock this out on All-Star. Like I said, I'll be right back. So we just got done capturing the Angel Stronghold here. And as you can see, we still have 14 fans. We really can't do much attacking wise other than on this spot. We could move it down to four, but we're kind of blocking this two right here. So I'm not going to even move that down on the attack phase. We're just going to skip the reinforce again, and we'll move those 14 fans somewhere else, to be honest. Just waiting for the computer to do their attacks. Man, Boston's trying to conquer the whole map by themselves. All right, so now we got the steel fans. You can skip the steel fans phase, go back to reinforce. And now we're going to go right after the Giants. We're just going to put 20 right here. We're going to move these 14, and we're just going to go right into the Giants here with the 33 we have, attack phase. Hopefully, we get a good victory here, and then we should be able to just go roll right in onto their stronghold. I We're probably going to have to play it on veteran or all-star. Man, that one that one fan stronghold right there really held up it looks like they're gonna attack us back here it ain't really gonna work out play it on veteran once again i'm gonna play it on all-star knock it out and then i'll be right back and we'll continue to conquer this map once we get the stronghold we're gonna take over all of their area in front of them and start working around the wheel on this map we'll probably wrap it up with the red Sox the way this is going but let's knock this game out guys i'll see you when you are done when i'm done let's get to it take over their stronghold all right, boys, we just conquered the San Francisco Giants, and now we're going to make our way towards the Seattle Mariners, but we're going to take over all of the space that's in here from the San Francisco Giants, as well as the Seattle Mariners, till we get over here to get a decent matchup against them. So I'm going to do that, and while doing this, it's going to obviously go back to the kind of fast-forward move while I take over these hexagons. <laughs> So we've got the board now after fighting back and forth with the Red Sox and the Mariners. We got it to where we can attack the Mariners stronghold here. Play it on veteran or all-star, whatever difficulty you want to play it on. I'm going to play it on all-star, knock it out. I recommend you guys knock it out as well. Let's knock it out together. I'll be right back once I complete this stronghold takeover. See you guys in a second. We just finished taking over Seattle stronghold. And that allowed us to complete goal number five, which is capture four enemy strongholds. So now we only got two more goals to do, which is the 100 territories, and then get all of the enemy strongholds. We only have three more goals to complete this map, and that is 100 territories, all enemy strongholds, and all of the territories to complete the umbrella map. So let's keep knocking this out. I'm going to go through and capture all of Seattle here. And then I'm actually probably going to go after Boston because Boston just keeps coming after this stronghold up here just to get them off the map, even though I would have liked to go after the Brewers. That was my original plan to just go around the wheel kind of this way. But we're going to go after Boston after I knock out some of these Brewers things so they don't fight back against the stronghold here.
Okay, so we've gotten to attack phase now where we're next to the Boston Red Sox stronghold here. And we're going to be able to play this on veteran at the very least. Going to knock this game out. That's going to give us five out of six strongholds that we need to get. So let's knock this one out, guys. As soon as we're done with this one, we're going to clean up the rest of the hexagons and we're going to get our way to the Milwaukee Brewers. So right after we knock this one out, I'll see you guys back here. So we just conquered the Boston Red Sox stronghold and now we're going to take over all these hexagons until we can get right next to the Brewers stronghold. And we're going to conquer the Brewers and we'll have all of the goals complete when we do that because we'll knock out 100 territories. We'll obviously knock out the enemy strongholds and all the territories captured. We want to make sure that the Brewers is the last territory we have to capture. So let's knock that out. We're going to do a speed up process here while I'm going through this with some music in the background to knock these out. So we've got it to where the only territory left is going to be the Milwaukee Brewers. We're going to want to play them here. You can definitely play the game on veteran. I'm going to knock this game out. And then when we get back, we're going to wrap up the video. And that's going to complete the first inning conquest. Well, the second one that they came out with the umbrella first inning conquest. So let's knock this game out. And then we'll be right back. I'll wrap up the video and kind of let you guys know what was going on and what you got out of completing this once again as a nice recap. See you guys in a second. So once you've beaten the Brewers here, you'll get this final screen here that says goal completed, 7 out of 7, conquer all territories and complete the umbrella map. We did it as well as you'll get 15,000 XP for the first inning program, which is the big reward. That's one of the goals is to complete this conquest map. And as well as at the very end, you get a balling as a habit pack. So you go in here, obviously goes the goals completed once again. And it'll say victory, congratulations, you've conquered the map, reign supreme and all territories do you want to restart you can just restart it and then it'll refresh the map so as you can see we've completed all seven goals this is an in-depth tutorial that allows you to do this i think that was the best way to go about it if you guys like to see these in-depth and me go step by step and show me taking over every single hexagon let me know i'm more than happy with doing that with, with the sped up music underneath of me just kind of conquering territories if you want to see it how i did the u.s map where i kind of gave you the start and then we went step by step and i kind of just skipped to where i got to that step at and it's kind of self-explanatory how i got there in my opinion but maybe for some of you newer guys you need the see everything visually and have that quick speed up of me taking over the territories by simulating everything if you need that let me know i'd like to hear your guys's feedback whether you like kind of me just skipping to the points where i get to the stronghold and kind of my methods and talking about it or if you need to see everything from start to finish let me know which one you guys prefer in the comments down below would like to know your guys's take on it as always, I appreciate all of your guys' support. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with any of your friends that play MLB The Show 21. You guys have a great day and be safe.